All right, everyone, there it is. My little green monster. Built on a Fisker's push reel mower and then using the motor and controls out of a Ryobi 40 volt rotary mower. One of the first things I ended up doing was changing the front roller. Um, you do have to cut uh, the bracket on either side right here and then the bracket over on the other side here to get the conveyor belt roller mm -hmm. to sit in there nicely. This is the conveyor belt roller I used. This part of the bracket right here I did have to drill out a half inch hole to get that axle to go through. Um, the conveyor belt roller comes with a hex head axle so you can either just pop that in there or what I did was actually tap and thread with a half inch 13. Um, I do need to change out those nuts for a lock nut just because I did have one come loose on me and almost roll out into the yard. All right, next step was trying to get the handlebars connected and working properly. Um, I got a picture or two of a few things of how to actually do that. Um, first thing I actually did was grind off the two pins, this, these two bolts holes. That's actually where the two pins of the original Fiskers was. And then I added a third down here just to keep that bracket in place. Um, but the major part of it was getting it to attach to the mower. The width here is a little bit narrower than the width of the Fiskers mower. So I actually had to take this bracket. It was, this whole unit was actually flipped 180 degrees on both sides. There's a safety switch in here, so as soon as you flip this pole, there's a hole in there where the safety switch pops out and completes the circuit going up. Um, I actually had to take a Dremel and uh, a couple drill bits just to make sure everything was opened up and the switches were functioning from here and running up to the handles. Once that was functioning, then I knew that I could continue on and finish the mower the width of the mowers were a little different were a little different so we tried we tried to get them as close as possible i did end up having to still put a spacer in between here to get this width right across to get it to mount to the frame on the fiskers mower Next thing I did was then just getting placement of the motor. Uh, the motor itself is pulled directly out of the Ryobi 40 volt. Um, I'll pull up the number on what actual mower I used um, to at least give you kind of specs on it. But sprockets are the same off of the Fiskers mower. Um, I ended up actually switching position when I first started putting the mo putting the motor on. I actually had this sprocket up here and it reversed. And when I first had it running, this thing ran like a bat out of hell. Uh, it sounded like a damn jet engine. I knew I had to turn, turn speed down on the motor, but I didn't really want to add anything into it. And then realized if I just switched the flipped the sprockets it slowed it down enough to cut just fine to get the motor in place i basically started with a big plate this final this plate right here is the final plate that i trimmed out and all the holes are nice nice and neat um but it started out with a big plate that came all the way around because i didn't know where exactly the motor needed needed to sit um once i got placement of that then the other side was just making a duplicate of it, put it on the other side. And then once I had that, 
the motor the mower was running i actually ran it cut it in the backyard with just the two plates on either side and a empty in the middle with your motor your battery and your controller components once i had the motor in place then I, then came the fun part of boxing everything in use just 16 gauge steel um, with angle iron rivets and then the top section the entire top section will actually fold open uh, in three different sections one for the battery and then this is just an empty space closed in um, and then here's for all the electronics and motor to get to so to get to your battery just pull two thumb screws Pop it up, there she is. The light itself was just an added touch. It was already wired in. Figured might as well put it in there. Um, yeah, I like it. Candle bar itself, easy to fold up. Click those two. This whole thing slides down, lock in place. Pull your two pins. Fold up. Restore. Bring it back. There you go. I think the only downfall I have is there and there or right here are where my reel to bed knife adjustment screws are so for that i just use an 11 millimeter ratchet wrench and that just reaches in there just fine on either side the rear roller along with the front roller puts down awesome stripes first off but those are two things you can do to adjust the Fiskars mower without even adding the motor to it. Um, these are six inch Harbor Freight wheels. Um, they do come with a half inch axle. I did have to take a 5 8 drill bit, drill that out, and then a little bit of sandpaper just to make everything nice and smooth so it's uh, each wheel spun smooth. I've got spacers between each wheel, so each wheel actually does spin freely. It makes for an easy roll. This thing turns like a dream. So with the smaller diameter wheels, along with the smaller diameter front roller compared to the wheels that were on there, this bottom setting here, we set on the ground and that is no longer usable, that number one. So. At that second, at that second click, we're basically mowing just 
over a half inch. That's about it. I really enjoyed building this thing. It was definitely fun. It took a little while to figure out where everything went. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments and anything you would do different, how you would build it. Um, there were a bunch of different ideas running around in my head when I started and this is what I ended up with. So, hope you guys enjoy. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions on how to build different versions of it different mods you want to do to the fiskers but that was definitely a fun build appreciate it guys later